Hello, welcome to tutorial number 8 in this series for Excel beginners. Uh, in the last tutorial we had a quick look at conditional formatting and I applied conditional formatting to these cells here in column C so it would highlight uh, the number of rentals when it went above a certain value or below a certain value. And I'll just remind you if I click on that uh, cell there C3 which has the conditional formatting in it go to the format menu, open the conditional formatting dialog and you can see what we applied. So we had two conditions. The first one, the value uh, is 9, or the, the relevant value is 9. If it goes above 9 in the cell, then we get a green colour. Below 9, then we get this sort of brownie, orangey colour. Now that's fairly simple because it's really only working on one single value, but I want to show you another way you can use conditional formatting and combine it with the functions that we looked at earlier. So if I just cancel that for now, and just to remind you, we had these functions here, average, maximum, minimum, count. Now, what I'm going to do is use conditional formatting in conjunction with the maximum and minimum functions. So it will highlight the highest and lowest value on these cells. Now, at the moment, we're just doing a regular conditional format. We can't do it. So, you know, we can't pick a particular value out because we don't know in advance what the values might be for the highest or lowest. So what we need to do is combine it with a function so Excel works it out for us. So I'm going to apply conditional formatting in column D um, for the income cells. And I'm going to select cells D3 down to D8. And if we go to the format menu, choose conditional formatting, we get our dialog box. And I'm going to set two conditions again, but obviously this time I'm going to combine the condition with uh, the maximum and minimum functions as you will see. So if I choose cell value is, happy with that, click on the drop down there to choose the, the operator and I'm going to choose equal to, there we are, and then I'm going to type the function in here. Now it's fairly straightforward, it's as if you were typing a normal function but we type it out manually so I'm going to type equals max, open the bracket or parentheses and then again as you would with a paste function uh, calculation we select the range just click and drag down there and it puts the range in automatically close the bracket and that's done and we now need to set the format so I'll do the same thing as we did previously I'll just simply put a light green colour on pastely green that'll do and then we're going to add a condition okay and this time cell value is that's fine again equal to and this time I'm going to choose your use the minimum function so it's equals min again open the brackets, select the range you want included in that calculation or the conditional formatting, close the bracket and that's all done. Simple as that. So you set two, oh I haven't quite set the formatting, I'll do that now. So I'll choose the same formatting, or actually maybe choose that yellowy colour as that. So there we go, so we'll set, set the two conditions, set the formatting we're interested in. You can actually add a third condition if you're interested but we'll, we'll leave that for now. And I'll just click OK and we're done there. Now if I click away you can see the result of that. Now what's happened is that Excel now has used the maximum and minimum function to, to find the highest and lowest values. But this time it's applied format to the relevant cells. So it's, we can immediately see which is the highest value and which is the lowest value. Now what's interesting is if you have two cells with an equal value, now you can see that these two movies here cost the same in terms of rental price. So if I increase the rentals on Wizard of Oz to 12, what you will see is the income value will become equal highest and we should have it colour green. And there we go, that's exactly what happens. Now, supposing these two movies uh, suddenly don't become the highest because something else uh, has a, a spurt of interest, let's say Ben Hur, there's a, a sudden demand for that title. Let's say that goes up to 18 rentals. Quite dramatic. See what happens then. And there we go, that instantly becomes the highest value and it's colour green. And if I just undo that, it reverts back to the £23.40 value. And equally, if let's say the Citizen Kane, which is currently the lowest, that suddenly improves, and that goes to 12 rentals, say, you'll see that now 2001 has become the lowest. So whatever happens on the spreadsheet, as we update it, it immediately highlights the high and low values. Now if you want to remove conditional formatting, uh, what you need to do is select the range of cells that have conditional formatting already on, that you want to get rid of. So I'm going to select these cells in column C because I don't want the conditional formatting on there anymore. 
go to the format menu, choose conditional formatting let's bring that into view and click on the delete button there and when you do that you get a little dialog pops up that gives you the option to delete one condition, all conditions and in this case I'm going to delete both condition 1 and condition 2 as they're the only ones we have active, click OK click OK there and that's it, they've all that's all cleared now so they've gone back to being normal cells if you like so we have conditional formatting on here to indicate which is the most popular movie and which is the least popular movie um, in terms of revenue um, which is really all I'm interested in or Fred is so uh, I'll just uh, let's take Wizard of Oz back to 11 so it's not no longer as popular and you'll see instantly we we now have only one movie showing green as the top movie which is great so there we go that's um, just a, another example of how you can use conditional formatting I'll just save that spreadsheet again so there we go click save overwrites the previous version hope that was useful for you uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to introduce creating charts um, and there's a lot you can do with charts and uh, I'll begin to explain how to create them and format them and uh, hopefully uh, g give you a few tips on how to impress people with some fantastic looking charts so thank you for watching this video and see you next time